Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Europe is an indispensable market for Huawei, second only to China in importance. In Europe, Huawei has a large number of partners and a business layout that has been cultivated for decades. Regrettably, the European Union and the United States are in the same position when it comes to 5G cooperation and are urging more European countries to exclude Huawei's 5G equipment. However, in terms of 6G, the European Union has changed its attitude, joined Huawei in researching 6G technology, and will provide Huawei with a subsidy of 300 billion yuan. What is the EU's plan? Facing the frequent changes in the face of the EU, how should Huawei respond? Huawei is one of the world's leading 5G technology providers, and it has strong technical strength in the 5G field. Huawei has been investing in research and development of 5G technology since 10 years ago, and was the first to release 5G commercial equipment in 2018, becoming one of the world's first suppliers of commercial 5G networks. Huawei's 5G technology has obvious advantages in terms of speed, bandwidth, and reliability, and has been widely used around the world. Huawei is also very active in the field of 5G technology research. It has made important contributions in the formulation of 5G standards, the construction of 5G test networks, and the application of 5G industries. Huawei also works closely with operators and industry partners around the world to jointly promote the development an application of 5G. But no matter how good Huawei's 5G is, it is still being confronted by European and American countries. In particular, the United States disregarded the facts and slandered Huawei's 5G network security without substantive evidence, which also affected the choices of many European countries. In the past, only a few European countries gave up Huawei's 5G cooperation, and now even the European Union has joined the US camp. According to the news from the EU, the European Commission clearly marked Huawei and ZTE as high-risk suppliers, which means that the EU will no longer purchase equipment from these two Chinese companies. The EU also made such a wrong decision without any evidence. If it is said that the United States is not secretly contributing to the flames, not many people will believe it. The EU wants to exclude Huawei from 5G, but in terms of 6G, the EU wants to join Huawei in research. It is reported that the European Union is funding Huawei to carry out research on next-generation communication systems. Not only the 6G network, but also 11 special research projects, such as artificial intelligence, cloud computing, and autonomous driving, which form the research plan of the European Union's flagship research and innovation program Horizon Europe. Huawei can receive a subsidy of 3.89 million euros, equivalent to about 30 million yuan. While the EU excludes Huawei from 5G, it introduces Huawei to participate in 6G research. What is the EU's plan? Perhaps the EU knows that Huawei is inseparable from the field of next-generation communication systems. Although Huawei's telecommunications network construction in some countries has been restricted, the EU's attitude towards Huawei is relatively open. Moreover, 
in the technology field in Europe, Huawei is also an important partner and participant, and its technology and innovation capabilities have been recognized and welcomed by Europe. Huawei's participation in European research and innovation programs will not only help promote the development of European technology, but also help Huawei's development and influence in the European market. From the perspective of cooperation, Huawei can help the progress of the European science and technology industry. What it needs to pay is only a few million euros, but the returns it brings are multiplied. Once Huawei's 6G research results land in Europe, it is likely to become a core technology controlled locally. After all, the leading party of the project is the European Union. Huawei participated in the research as a partner and received funding from the European Union. Imagine if Huawei could take away the research results. The EU already has Ericsson in the 5G field, and Nokia provides support, while the research on 6G is still in its infancy. Huawei's communication strength is not bad, and it is indeed a good partner for the EU. Some people may say, didn't the EU say that Huawei equipment is high risk? Why is Huawei still involved in such an important 6G research? There is a saying that goes well, only those who have wronged you will know how innocent you are. The EU and the US are talking nonsense with their eyes open. They know better than anyone whether there is any problem with Huawei equipment. If there was a problem, the evidence would have been revealed long ago. Therefore, the EU actively introduces Huawei to participate in 6G research and other cutting-edge technological fields, such as artificial intelligence and autonomous driving also allow Huawei to participate. This does not necessarily mean that it can open the door to the 5G market for Huawei. I feel that the EU has a good plan. But Huawei may not miss this opportunity. This is a very good opportunity to enter the European market, and it is also an entry point for deepening cooperation among European countries. The EU frequently changes face. Huawei's response is to do what it should do. It doesn't need to do anything special. As long as it maintains open cooperation and technological research and development, gold will always shine. When the EU suffers serious losses by excluding Huawei 5G, they will understand how wrong it is to abandon Huawei 5G cooperation. If you agree with the point of view of this video, please like it, welcome to forward, leave a message and share.